Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. McLevern. thank you for joining me here this start of a new campaign in which we're playing, of course, Hearts of Iron 4. No step back, thank you very much Paradox for sponsoring this video, really just giving me early access to the DLC, in which we are trying to go and become the Finno Uguria nation. But right now, we must rally the nation. The VAPS movement is a movement of veterans from the Estonian War of Independence, and we've been falsely stifled under the regime of Konstantin Petz. If we were to create an Estonia that works for Estonians, we must make ourselves known to the world. We must march across the nation and let everyone know we are here. We are the men who fought for Estonia's existence, and we deserve to be probably heard. Once we get some more good old F ideology, and then let's see what else can we do? The remilitarization of the Rhineland and rally the nation. So for this one, we need 40% or more for the VAPS, which is going to, or VAPSID. Ooh. There's a 65% chance of non-aligned support start a civil war. Well, that's not good. It seems like we're going to have to wait a little bit first. So, let's rejoin the railway, shall we? The Russians and the Germans who occupied us have seen us as nothing more than a rural backwater, but no more. Estonia shall be industrialized to its maximum potential, starting with an upgrade of our railways and infrastructure. And over time, let's see. So, we have, we have low VAPS tension. We get more daily uh, F-word ideology, which we're going to need more. And we get more daily democracy support with democratic opposition. Pats is just an okay dude, but... After that one, we're probably going to choose something else here. Renewed allied trade. We'll probably go and seek allied investment. Oh, actually, we get more. Ooh, fascist support. Ooh, that's not bad. We can only get 0.66 political power every single day. And Turkey remilitarizes the straits. I think we'll probably best to wait. Maybe we can grab a few civvies first. That might be really good. I and mean, we can get that extra fascism just because when we, we need to get 40%, we're 26, 5% more, 31%. We're going to need one of these guys. We're probably going to need Andreas Larka. Uh, Captain of Industry, backroom backstabber. Yeah, we're probably going to need uh, Andreas Lark here. But, how about we modernize the industry or attract workers to hire you? Hmm. I prefer this one. Modernize your industry first. For too long, Estonia's output has been defined by agriculture, but no more. We must concentrate our industry around the major city centers in each state if we are to turn Estonia into a modern economy. The march in Estonia, the Isti Vabaduso Jalastalit, I can speak perfect Estonian, march across Estonia went by relatively without incident, avoiding major population centers and instead focusing on more rural areas of Estonia. The EVL were able to show the people of Estonia what the movement stands for while avoiding retribution from the Estonian officials. So, what we can do here, I didn't I didn't realize this, but you open up the decisions tab, events and decisions, and the weak government of Konstantin Petz has silenced the cry of Estonia's patriots for long enough. We lack the manpower to fight the Estonian armed forces alone, but perhaps by demonstrating our frustration with the dictatorship in a series of marches throughout the country, we may remind the youth of Estonia that their fathers fought for good life for them, that Petz and his cabal were denying them. So, we I did the one in uh, Tallinn, I think. I could be wrong, but interesting. So we get... 10 more days to the mission, incoming government crackdown. We'll get 15% more fascism. Cool. As we're trying to modernize, of course, our industry over here. If you want to reread that again, please go right ahead, I guess. Uh, I guess yeah, for too long, as soon as output has been defined by agriculture, but no more. Let's concentrate our industry around the major city centers in each state if we are to turn Estonia into a modern economy. Um, let's see. There's a 47% chance that non aligned support will start a civil war. So, is how many support? They have 37% support. We have 41% support. That's not bad. Um, do we want a civil war? We could try it. We could try it. Or we just keep building ourselves up first. Um, anything here really with 70 day focuses. Oh, it hurts me. 70 days. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Let's go ahead and just, just, just fire the thing. The march. With so many veteran societies and paramilitary groups in Estonia already on our side, we remain confident that Konstantin Petz will be unable to resist us when we descend upon Tallinn. We'll march to the Rigikoku and in no uncertain terms declare a Vapsi government united under Artur Sirk. Cool. And we remove democratic opposition, which would be good to do, because that hurts our PP, and we don't like it when we hurt our PP. So, um, actually, if we keep doing this, because this was a 33% chance for 10%, 15%, or 20% chance, so if we spend our PP, would that lower the chance of the Civil War firing? There's a 47% chance. Let's take a look. Which is the most populous states? 32,000, almost no one there. 151,000. Well, let's try it down here. And 30 days, we'll see what percent chance we get, or how much more uh, fascism we will get. Because actually, it's going down now. Yeah, it's going down, which is not too bueno for us. You know what? What do we just... Oh, we can't do every single one of them. That's all right. Whatever. Um, let's take a look here. So after the march on T Tallinn... Ooh, construction one is quite good to get to. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of town. Let's work on our guns. Yes. Support weapons uno. Um, what is this? The glory of war. We have to be fascist for this. The threat on our border. The true enemy. Empower the Finnish militants, which would not be bad, actually, to get more daily fascism for a whole year. Or we get some political power and get some more people here as well, more daily fascist support. And then we get some more consumer goods factories potentially with the people we can get. Not bad. Actually, political power gain plus 15%. And then even more daily fascist support. 
That's not bad. Basically, you can get him for free, so you can start working on that immediately. Chaotic March in Estonia. Uh-oh. The EVL demonstration in Estonia was met with a mixed response from the public and a violent backlash from local authorities. Few among the crowd were even to tell what the march was about, with violence between the protesters protesters and counter-protesters taking stage in the demonstration. The Estonian government are already working towards stomping out the EVL, and today's events has likely hastened the process while doing little to win over the crowd. But well, now we're at 50%, and now it's down to 37% chance that we'll have civil war, so the veterans' government. The previous cabinet of ministers were weak-willed and bent to the wills of Constantine Pets. We need a new cabinet of ministers, those who are sympathetic to the Vapsid cause. Civil war, civil war, civil war, civil war. The Vapsid civil war, god dang it! Constant marches and demonstrations all over the city of Atlas broke in what little unity continued to exist in Estonia, and the nation's been driven out into an all-out civil war. What was meant to be a trivial government cracked on, on the EVL groups erupted into a violent clash with protesters yesterday, with veterans clashing with members of the Estonian army once they once fought for, with the EVL members on one side and the government loyalists on the other. All that remains is to be seen who shall be seated at Tartu at the end of the day. Otto Suk or Konstantin Pets for Estonia, and look at Otto Suk. Kinda of handsome. I like the suit. He has like a little striped suit. That's very nice. But we do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm. But I do like our flag, even though it's a little dark as I'm saving right now. That's kind of nice. I like it a lot. But what do we have here? Um, you probably want to stop doing that. We need a field marshal. Johan Ledoner, chief of the army. A drill expert, not bad. Requires at least skill level four. Um, Otto Heinz. Well, I guess Johan. I guess you're the dude for the job. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully we can do okay here. It's only a civil war, right? Can we actually just march straight into their capital? Tallinn isn't even the capital, though. So, I'll see what you can do. Uh, if you guys can keep them in place, that'd be great. We're gonna try to encircle and kill them off. I suppose that would be the good thing. Oh, actually, that's our capital right there. Oh, it's kind of exposed, isn't it? Keep them in place, too. See what we can do. Uh, we go right there to there. That'd be pretty nice, honestly. Yeah, don't encircle us, boys. We doing okay here? Well, oh, they do have another port over there, too. That sucks. Oh, uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't be good, so... We're all kind of bogged down for now, so this kind of sucks. I wish Germany could help us out. We could get more war support, huh? Oh, look at this. We can grab some more stuff here, too. Military theorist? We gotta do it to the veterans' government first. Can we actually get more attack, maybe? Infantry? Yeah, that'd be good. That actually helps us out quite a bit. Games of Olympiad, not bad. Oh, that's our capital now. That's not bad. Um, you just keep these guys in place. You guys here to keep these guys in place as well, actually. If you don't do anything here, you can come back here. They're not moving, so that's kind of okay with us. Come over here. And you guys can stop attacking. And you guys go around here just to all the ports, and this way they'll lose all their supplies. Not a terrible idea, not a great idea, as long as we don't get in circle right here. Oh, we won! Oh, we made it so much easier than I thought it was supposed to be. Cool! Hello. Not bad, my friends, not bad. Ah, nothing like extra fascism in the morning. Or, I guess, for me in the afternoon. Or for whatever time you are at. Contains the IMR, the on our board, the glory of war, not bad. Mobilize the veterans, not bad. The Vapsid youth. Ooh, that's pretty good, too. Uh, I do want to reach out to Germany. As much as we hate communists here, I want a friend, tr uh, relationship with them. We get four forts in total or join the Axis. Or do both. Uh, that's not bad. Daily fascist support. Vapsid youth. I mean, you get manpower anyway. We need manpower, too, so. The glory of war. We're a government of veterans, but many Vapsid members are simply too old or worn down by the injuries remaining or return to active service. Perhaps these old war dogs may find new purpose in training a new generation of Estonian soldiers in the ways of war. Overall, not too bad. Um, I would personally prefer us making more civvies first, but, you know, that's fine, whatever. Go right there. I'm not sure if we can really do too much yet, but eventually we will. Cool. All right, not too bad. And we are definitely going to need a few more soldiers here, aren't we? Do that and train some more horse daddies. The glory of war. Nice. And let's get some more fascism, because we love fascism. Oh, that's not bad. Victor Pusak. It says red negative 0.05 commie support, but what's the problem there? That's exactly what we want to do. It's a socialist justice. What the heck? Bad economist is not bad. Uh, let's get this one first. Halmar May. More political power, more fascist support, acceptance of fascist diplomacy. Yes, please. Yes. And then I will go this guy. Maybe? Veteran anti-Bolshevik. I like that too, but we lose some core manpower, but it's only point five. Oh, hello. Sure, guys. Hey, we joined the Axis immediately. Oh, we can't reach out to Germany. Oh. Oh, we should have not done that one. Actually, we could have gotten something here, but if we could fight the Soviets with the spirit and vigor alone, the USSR would be dismantled tomorrow. But sadly, Estonia simply lacks the manpower to defend itself against such an overwhelming threat. Perhaps by aligning with the Germans, we may st stand to survive in the next, into the next decade. Maybe. 
the Vaps could use so we get some more manpower, finally. The majority of the Vaps are far past their prime, but the young are entirely enthralled by the historic struggle for independence that characterized Estonia a few decades ago. By establishing a Vapsid youth, we will give these enthusiastic young men a place where they may hope to recapture the glory of their fathers and their grandfathers as well. We have a total population of <laughs> less than 1.2 million people. We'll do the best we can. That's why I wanted Germany early on, and hopefully we'll do okay. Actually, who's actually over here? Uh, 12 combat width, and you guys are 8. Oh, boy. But luckily, we still have at least you. So we're getting some more daily army XP, which is not bad. Mexico de Mexico declared war on itself. This said the United States. I'm like, oh. Well, that's okay. And also, we're on a historical. Just let you know, which you probably figured out by now, but whatever. I'm not sure how much we're actually going to be able to build here, so yeah. Synthetic oil, I guess we'll try it. Why not? Um, no, we need trucks. The glory of war, of course, to get the Vapsid Youth. And then we're probably going to go down here, because we want Finland as fast as possible. So we'll get, get the Vapsid Youth. Get Empower the Fish Militants. We're already in the Axis. And we could go with Estonia's Scandinavian. I want to do that route eventually, but we're going to go, of course, with United Nations. And we annex them, hopefully. Actually, and they... Sh which way are they going? They are going Sisu, Collective Vessel... Oh! Oh! Perfect. 0.55. Oh, they're going up every day. An anti commenter in fact. German proposed that we sign an anti commenter in fact, or the address of Comintern's goals of spreading communism worldwide. With the use of subversion and violence by signing this pact, we agree to share intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation against this menace. Absolutely. Military theorists would not be bad. I do want some more um, army XP every single day, which would be very nice. I do want to get to a partial mobilization. I don't think it's going to do that much, honestly, for us, but... I mean, how much more fascist support do we need? Uh, I do want to go partial mobilization, but we need a lot more army XP. It's not like we can build that much anyways. How much are we at? 35%. Oh, that's pretty suck. That's pretty suck. That's pretty sucky. I'll go partial mobilization then. It's fine. Not too bad. Now we're down to 35%. So, a little better look at that. The veteran training is very nice. After the Vaps at youth, though. Empower Finnish militants. The Vaps movement would not have been possible without the assistance of Finnish veterans to the north. Finnish volunteers aided Estonia to gain their independence, and now these veterans like us seek to overthrow their weak willed government and establish one which works for the Finns as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively. Yes. Yes, please. And currently we're on what? No land. Literally no land auction. Nothing. We are doing nothing here. Oh, that's so sad. Which way is everyone going, though? Oh, Slovenia's here. Drava B Banovia. Banovina. Look at it. He's balding. Are they, are they going communist, maybe? 0.4? Maybe not. Maybe not. As, what's UK up to? Nothing. German Reich is going Hemingoring Vaka. Or just Fat Man Vaka. Actually, are you in you're in the Axis by yourself. Um, can we send volunteers to Spain? That'd be really cool. But we don't have 30 divisions, so... Nice. And America's doing stuff. Looks like Alphaland did not win. Uh, what is China up to? We're not really sure. They have low inflation, though, which would be nice to have. Uh, fuel source, nice. Happy 37, everybody. Let's get some more output. Disperse industry, yes, please. Turkey, looking a little Turkish. After this, then we'll go with the National Pride Marches in Finland. The Finnish veterans lack the organization that we have, so perhaps our mere passive support of them is not enough to bring them about the change we saw in Estonia by organizing marches in Finland. We may one day see our two nations united under the heroes of the last war. Oh, yes, please. I don't know. Maybe our goal... Obviously, we have to become at least uh, the Empire of Finno ugria but what I would like um, for us to do is maybe, because we get all these extra cores, take out the Soviet Union with the Germans. I think that would be a good goal. Vapsid Estonia. What even does Vapsid mean? Um, so that's not bad. I do want to get some more daily army XP. We do have cavalry here, so getting more daily army XP would be a very, very good thing. Oh, that's, almost, that's, that's nice. 0 0.3. It's almost like 0 0.2 a day. Almost roughly 0 0.2. Oh! Thrown across Latvia! Nice. Can I actually... Can we go to war with you? Actually, we might just kill them off later. We'll see, because we do get the, the Brotherhood eventually. War goal against them. Um... United Nations? I want to wait for that one. Anti-Communist Militia. The nation is filled with men willing to fight the Bolshevik threat to our east, but we were rejected by the old government for being too radical. To the Vaps, no amount of anti-Communist thought is too radical, and these men deserve a place in our army as much as any other. We can't help them out, so. Um, anything else here? No? Unify the Baltics? I do want to unify the Baltics. That'd be very, very nice. That's why I don't want the fascists down here to win. And for... And hopefully they won't join the Axis. But if they do, we'll just kick them out. We'll find a way to kick them out. I promise you that. As long as we're mobilizing more. 3% of a million is still not very much. Radio? Radio? Yes. France, are you still the same amount of communist? I don't think I've ever played as Romania. I mean, in vanilla, but still. 
Anti-communists, yes. Oh, and, oh, we can do the same thing. March through here. We can't do this one here though. More than forty percent for the IKL. Okay, so we lose a lot of political power by doing this. So let's do Karjala first, maybe, and then the Baltic Shield. Where are following? Oh, well, Nikoshenka, check. Join the Axis. We kind of already did that. Now that the Germans have been assuring us of our intentions, we remain certain that Estonian entrance into the Axis should remain entirely reasonable. Too bad we already did that. So I guess Baltic Shield's next. The Soviets wish to crush Estonia under the boot of imperialism. But we cannot allow that to happen. Bunkers must be constructed all along the border. We may not be able to defeat the Soviets, but we may at least stand long enough for someone else to do so. That'd be nice. I don't think we'll be able to make anything other than that, so let's get some construction as well. As we're building up some more civvies. And after the civvies, we'll make some millies. Because Spain is killing... Oh, everyone's killing themselves. Nice. Very nice. Go low, go high. Oh, wow. Yeah, you might have just given it the victory to the Nationals, but you never know what the Carlos ha might be up to. I don't ever play as the Carlos, too. Maybe eventually. Oh, the March on Usima. Once we feel the veterans of Finland have been emboldened enough, we only need to get the signal to march on Usima, and the Finns will at last be empowered under fascism. They start a civil war, huh? Do we want to start a civil war yet? What do we do on Usima? How, how much fascism do they have? Can they just flip by themselves? Oh, they have fascist organizations. They're pretty pretty high up. Maybe we don't want to wait a little bit longer. Let's do the... Oh, wait. That's a march. Oh. Well, we'll see what happens. If they don't go do well, then we'll, we'll do some funky stuff off screen and make sure they do do well. Nice. <sighs> and then the Baltic Shield, of course. Threat on border. Cave to enemy pressure. Women Defense Leagues, huh? Fortify Tallinn. Fortify the border. Tartu? I'd rather do this one because we get a lot more forts. Um, hold Sa Sarema. Oh, a lot of more victory points here. That's nice. Versus no surrender. Ooh, I like that one too. The long push. Honestly, this is not bad. This probably sounds better long term, but how long term are we going to be? And you also get the long push. Hmm. Oh, there goes Japan too. Oh, that's not bad. Toad anti is not bad. Surprisingly, when Isan Malinen. Kansan Leak forces events on the Finnish capital today. Rather than igniting a civil war as expected, the former Finnish government declared it would surrender its power and an advocate to the authority of the Isanmalinen Kansan Leak party. Well, that was unexpected. And gladly welcome. Don't look at this. Anti Soviet divisions. 24 convoys. Wow, we got some thick boys. Well, love them thick. United Nations. Well, I want to take these guys out fast possible. So, Baltic Shield. Little Entente reaffirmed. Fascinating developments. As long as no one else goes to war them. Communist? Oh, China, why? You just sacrificed yourselves. Um, the Brotherhood, though. Estonia does not exist in a vacuum. And to our south lies two very vulnerable nations who would likely fare better at survival if they were integrated into the Estonian state. The Baltic states are brothers, and as brothers, we must stand together. Horse boys! Honestly, I'd rather have a little bit of artillery because we are making some artillery. So we have 136. That's not bad. We have a little bit of anti-air too. Oh yeah. Oh, we're making. Oh, we actually have four factories. Look at that. That's kind of nice. Nice. So go and throw some artillery on these bad boys. That'd be really nice. I don't want to hurt our supply too much, but at this point, just make them 20 combo with. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty painful to do, but whatever. Um, make sure we get some cavalry, at least 10 combo with, I guess. Support artillery. That's fine too. We'll make it. We'll make it eventually. Oh, we got more than enough political power here. If that's the case, let's do this guy. More fascism. We love fascism. Oh, chief of the army as well. Drill. Non-combat out of supply penalties. Uh, I'd rather, uh, dr uh, I don't really care much for division train time. Now we're casually out 2,400 guns, which the Germans should be able to supply us with, right? The Germans love us. Or at least tolerate us. So we should be okay. Oh, and there goes that part of Spain. Greater Finland. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're doing really well. The Baltic Shield. Wow, they're just closing in on Sevilla. Sevilla. Nice. But, oh well. The Brotherhood and the Little United Nations. Goodbye, Cordoba. Oh, they got circled. Even the Soviets got circled there. Oh, it's so beautiful. Sevilla. Oh, so sad. Goodbye. Look at those. Ah, good job. Actually, which way is the UK going? Do we know yet? We're probably going the normal way. Probably normal way. I'm going to assume normal way. Better artillery. 
All right, after that, the United Nations. With Finland now in the hands of its veterans, our inner influence tightly woven into the very fabric of the new Finnish government, all we need to do is pull a few strings and we should all be able to unite our people into a single nation. Vapsit Estonian seeks unification. If accepted, we can annex them. What's not to love? Screw it, why not? Yeah, these fascists take forever. These Latvian fascists kind of suck. It's alright. Maybe they're just trying to make Oslin. Nope. Never mind. Don't cross Latvia. Never mind. Wait, what? Wait. And you have the... Oh, you don't have the... You don't have the which way are they going? I don't know. We went down the part of the paramilitaries, apparently. I'm going to assume it's Latvia for Latvians. So, they might be doing this. I hope they do anti-German propaganda. That'd be kind of nice. Or the Thunder Rears are... Wars alone. Because I want to go to war as fast as possible with them. These are our buddies. Actually, which way is Poland going? I play Poland again sometime, too. Oh, Friedrich Christian. Okay, so it's probably not aligned. Um, It is 37 still. Not going to have any time for that. Oh, yeah, trucks. Trucks would be very good to get. Followed up with what? Drill? Well, if we're going to have penalties, just make sure they're not too big. Not too high on the list for us. 49% is not too bad. Popular resistance, huh? Ah, uh, less war support, less ability. So be it. United Nations. Uh, oh, the Thunder Cross, Latvia accepts unification. Gustav Simons has made the wise decision to allow for the unification of our two nations. Gustavs, or Gustavs has stepped down as the head of the Latvian government in favor of Otto Suk and has taken on a more deputy role in the newly unified Estonian and Latvian government. Great! Oh, we just get their divisions. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, what are these? Fifteen. Are these? What does that mean? Does it mean has been decommissioned? Oh, these are all decommissioned too. Well, that's all right. There you go. Um, not bad, not bad. I should not have done that. I should have not put a tiller on there because mm, that's all right. If you do template one, you can. Do, you guys can be the garrisons for now. So they never set. That's fine. So, what do these Lithuanians say? Because now we're really out of... Oh my gosh, it's so bad. We have plenty of arty, though. Lots of arty. It's alright. Any planes yet? Nope. Oh, we have ships. I don't know those we have ships. We have literally no admiral. Madis rank. Cool. Do that until you die. Oh, we have no dockyards. Oh. Yeah, once we take out these guys, we can. We can have a dockyard after that. Why don't we just go straight on in? Can we do that? Is that possible? Can you just go like here to here to there or something like that? Mimel, we gotta get that before the Germans do. Oh, actually go right there. Oh, you wanted to encircle us, son? No, no, no. Oh, see, I love the Germans. They gave us guns. Proof machine tools, very nice. In 1938, let's get some better gun stuff, and then maybe some more research speed after this as well. And how much army XP are we getting? A good amount, a very healthy amount. We could call the Germans in, but oh, Finland accepts greater, greater Finland accepts unification. Vilho Ananala has made the wise decision to allow for the unification of our two nations. Vilho Anala has stepped down as head of the Finnish government in favor of Artur Suk and taken on a more deputy role in the newly unified Estonian Finnish government. Wonderful. Let's straight up annex them. Proclaim un Finno Ugra. With Finland now under our control, we stand in a unique position to consolidate the Finnic identity within our state. There are countless Finno Ugric peoples across Northern Europe, who, and by uniting this identity, we stand to bring countless new soldiers to fight for the Vapsic cause. Oh, we're going to have a lot of resistance then. Oh, that's going to suck. I'm going to keep you guys over here. Ooh, we'll see what happens. Because I have a plan for these guys. Uh, you be about Herbert? Ha, ha, Herbert. Thanks for joining us. And I don't mind suffering a little bit of attrition here just because, or like casualties. Um, we want all that army XP as much as possible, so. Not bad. Just want to unify the Baltic men, and do we win? Yay, we got 1,500 more guns, and we got 200, uh, 28 more artillery. Great! Unify the Baltics! Now we're known as the Baltic Unitary State. Nice flag. Oh, do you have any upgrades? Oh, yes, you do. Awesome. There you go. Uh, I'll convert you guys to infantry. That's fine. Do we have enough for that stuff? Of course not. Could we beat the crap out of Sweden? Because they might just be next. Unification of the Baltics. Oh, cancel on these. Oh, sons, guys. Why? 
We go do that. Ooh, we need more steel. Ooh, we need more anti-air as well. That's not bueno, man. We can trade away for one with the good old Germans. This one, though. I think I did say yes. Hello. Not bad. Wow, this is really nice. Supply-wise, it's probably really bad. Uh, we need trucks. Do we have trucks yet? No, we don't. Okay, so. Uh, supply is probably really bad here, huh? Actually, it's not terrible. So you guys come down here. Actually, come down here. You guys. Uh, you guys do something like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, this really helps them out, actually, quite a bit more. Can you do that, maybe? And we'll call in the Germans to help us out for this war against these guys, too. How do we know we're going to go to war with them? Well, because magic. Yes. Artillery magic. Uh, because united we stand, unite Karelia. War goal against the Soviet Union. Unite the Sami. The Sami are disparate and widely oppressed people existing across the Finnish. Uh, oh, Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Russia. For too long, the Sami people have been denied the right to speak their Finnic language, and they lack the manpower needed to fight against their oppressors. We must consult the Sami within our state to protect them from Nordic imperialism. Nice. You still suffering from attrition here? God dang it. Inner war artillery is still not bad. Uh, since 38, let's go and some of this up too. See you guys down here too. It's fine. Get out of here. Supplies suck. Real bad. Leave. Well, these extra factories are nice and all, but. Still. You do that first. Get that melee done first. Nationalist victory over there. Not bad. And getting these core would be actually beneficial as well, so we get some more factories and stuff, but it's going to take some time. Especially trying to get this stupid thing done and research over here. Lappy, not bad. And that will give us more uh, supply up here, too. So There we go. Nice. You know, the Sami. Hey, man. Oh, look at that flag. Wowzers. Wowzers and Bowsers. Still pretty bad, huh? Give her one more. Here, just come down there. That's fine. Oh, yes. Just take, put them all there for now. That's fine. Whatever. We'll get trucks very soon, too. You guys train. You guys don't train. You're already starving for supplies. You guys train. You guys just do that. There you go. Um, infantry template three. Oh, actually, that's not too... Oh, that's actually really good. Why don't we waste time with this one? We give infantry template three. Oh, yeah. Screw that. Aaron. Oh, that's not bad. They got engineers. These guys have engineers too, though. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, we're way out of infantry equipment then. Or artillery, I should say. There you go. Um, We're going to need more tungsten, aren't we? Yeah, let's get some more steel first, though. The Germans love us, so they'll give us some stuff. Go to war with these guys. But, yeah, a couple weeks. Then we'll start making some trucks. That'll be good. That'll be very, very good. We really could use some uh, land doctrine, though. Nice, 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 nice. Actually, let's right here. Popular pig head. We'll definitely go with this guy just because we can. Um, but let's go and do military theorists so we can start. There we go. We'll go grand battle plan because that's just probably the, one of the best ones to do for now. Oh, thank God we got some trucks. Thank goodness. Oh, my goodness. I love trucks. Vroom, vroom. You and me. Let's get trucky. Synthetic oil experiments. Sure, why not? Please, immediately start making trucks. I'll go with two, actually. There you go. We need more art artillery anyway, so. And over that too. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have four trucks. We have four trucks in stockpile. We need 500, but we have eight. I'll supply, please help us out. You know the Sami? You know Karelia? It's full of Finnic people, from the Karelians themselves to the Eastern Sami people. With Finland under our control, we may yet be capable of extending our state into Karelia and uniting the Finnic therein. But we want to wait first. This stuff is not bad, the true enemy. We're going to wait to do all that stuff because we can still build ourselves up first. Attract workers to Harju. The workers of Estonia are spread disparately across the countryside, often working in the outdated agricultural sector. If we want to industrialize our nation for war, we must attract workers to the factories of Harju. Because we want to get research slots, rebuild the Harju fort. Due to the independence wars, Harju was more than a fort. It was more of a fort than a city. Although the fortifications have largely been dismantled and forgotten, they must be rebuilt and maintained, ready for war, of course. And with that in mind, uh, how bad is supply here? Is it okay? It's getting slightly better, hopefully. Please, for the love of God, please get better. It's going okay. Um, get another milli. Yeah. Actually, no. Build it right there. Oh, 100% infrastructure is so nice. Uh, do that. I want more civvies and millies. Lappy. Ah, finish off Lappy first, though. Actually, can we go to war with them immediately? 
That would be bad. We have until 1940. I do want to go to war as fast as possible. They're guaranteed by the Czechs. Um, who are allied with those guys. Can the Reich take on the Little Entente by themselves? And the way we do this, will anyone else be called into the war? That is my question of choice. Maybe? Maybe not? I want to kind of wait before we do this, just because supplies are just so not bueno. 6.4, so bad. Um, let's see what the Germans do. Demand the Sudetenland. If they were... Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's see what happens with the Sudetenland. If the Czechs give it up and they don't go to war, then we'll go to war, and then they'll go to war with Czechoslovakia and such like that. Just because that seems like they're probably the best route to do. So this way we don't avoid we avoid an early war with the Allies. And then they can just butcher in there. If not, oh! Estonia, Finland, League. Oh, why don't we turn this light, nice light blue? I like that. Harju, and rebuild the forts, and then unchain our education. And then we can get another research slot. Nice. What about the Haju forts? Please, please, please. It's just a couple forts. Oh, we get three more cities as well, which would be very nice for building ourselves up. We actually have 57 factories. Who knew that if you unite the Baltics all together with Finland, you can become slightly stronger. And horse boys. We love horse boys. Which sounds really weird to say, but whatever. And then we'll read about unchained education. The Estonian educational system has long been restricted by our desperate population centers, but now with the rural folk moving closer to the cities, we shall be more capable of efficiently educating the Estonian youth. Well, everybody, as you can see, um, the Germans uh, have a little fun with them Czech boys, so we'll see what happens. I think that Sweden was... Well, there goes Romania. They joined the Czech Entente, too. Um... Check on taunt. That's very nice. Very nice. Uh, uh, do we join the war? Who are they fighting? So we're fighting Bosnia, uh, the Slovenians, Croatia. You go, daddies. Um, mm, I thought Sweden was guaranteed. Is it? Independence Sweden is guaranteed by the Czechs. If we go to war with them, then we'll go to war with the Allies. So oh, they're not doing too bad, though. That's pretty nice, actually. Look at that. Oh well, you know what? If the Germans can swarm, I'm kind of okay with that. Oh, ooh, you guys are in a circle. Look at that. It's very nice. Oh, actually, are we still in... No, it's still the actual color. Okay, um, Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these guys. See, they're defined down here, too. Um, I wouldn't mind going to war. I guess. Oh, crap. You're just a fun... Oh, no. Mm, Croatia, Yugoslavia... Uh, actually, hold on. Let's go to war economy first, because we can't get that. We're rebuilding the Harju Fort still. Uh, you know, Karelia, mobilize the veterans. I still want unchained education. Oh, hello. Yeah, the Reich is just paying some, so. Yeah, we definitely want to unite our education first. Yeah, they're doing actually really well against some Czech boys, which is fine with us. I don't know where the Czech boys are, but you know what? I don't really care too much. As long as we went hungry, did join the war, which is nice, too. Ports are nice. And let's go and go with Unchained Education. After that one, technology sharing. We produce many of our partners' equipment already, but perhaps by studying their designs, we should be able to efficiently or significantly improve native Estonian designs. So it might be best for us if we wait. Because once Germany does go to war with the Allies like normal, then, well, we must join the war and then help kill these guys off as well. So we'll see what happens. Uh, which way is France going? There's a little bit more commies than earlier. A little more commie. And then you guys are probably staying historical-ish. Uh, Canada is still a puppet. They're guaranteed by these guys. Defense of Canadian regulations. Oh, look at Czechoslovakia. Oh! Well, that was fast. I don't really want to go to... Oh, my God. What the heck? Why would you give them that? Oh, we don't... Oh. There goes Slovenia. Oh, uh, are we War of the Allies now? Yeah, they're War of the Allies. Um, oh, the Turkish Empire there, too. And we have this one. Oh, hello, Bosnia. Hello, Bosnia. War with Germany. Don't care. Sure, whatever. Um, that's looking like a nice axis. Bosnia's gone. Luxembourg is gone. Oh, wow. That was actually really nice. Australia seeks distance as well. Oh, my gosh. Hungry. You got thick. Wow. Oh, what happened here? Wait, what? Bessarabia? Wait, what? You got released by the Germans? Um, Carpathian Ruthenia. Why? Just give it to Hungary. I might, I might literally just go get us to Hungary. I hate this so much. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Oh my god, this is kind of weird. That's like, like, like a little spatula, spatula, no. Like a little tongs or fork. Just like poking into the meat of the tip of Hungary. Which sounds like something I would have never said before this episode. But regardless, we did, we do want this guy. 
probably go to the extensive description, probably. After an Unchained Education System. Um, yeah, technology sharing is good. Hello. Oh, Germany. Daddy. I don't want to trade with those guys. I don't want to trade with those guys either. Turkish Empire. Let's go with two for now. We have, like, no natural resources here. That sucks. But Grand Battle Plan is very nice as well. So, at least these guys are gone, I guess. But, are you fighting the, the French, right? Yeah, you're fighting the French. Shang-Chi stays gone. Ooh, how's Asia looking? That was really fast, Germany. They did really well. I'm proud of the Germans. But then again, I guess the Czechs weren't really preparing for a war on their borders, but that was really stupid of them. Get some more construction speed, please. Thank you very much. After two, we'll go disperse industry as well. Thank you. And then after one, we'll grab some more radar, because we can. China, you are not going to have a fun time here, it looks like. Oh, boy. And you guys go right there. It's fine. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, you guys go right there. It's fine. How are we doing with supplies? They're still pretty bad, but at least we're not losing any now, which is very, very good. I right, see so you guys. Anything over here? Officer Corps roll. Army drill specialist. After technology sharing, because we will go to war. Honestly, at this point, you guys go home. Oh, we got some more ships. Oh, heavy ships. Oh, subbies. Subbies and chubbies, go home. Uh, let's take a look. We're still building our civvies and millies. Not too bad, actually. I want the allies to die first. I want Germany to go to war with the, the Benelux first thing. But then again, we we're probably going to fight these guys down here, too. We need some land border actually to just get through here. Hmm... Ooh, ooh. A couple more trucks. Maybe a truck or two more. Yes, yes. Uh, get some more aluminum from the Hungarian daddies. Yes. And build all the roads. Like, all the roads need to be built up. Max out roads. Because that helps with supplies as well. Yeah. Oh, and this... Oh, we're going to be heading with war. To war. Oh. Oh, that's not good. We're going to have an early war against the Soviets. Because they will demand Finland. Probably. So... Second like Ljubljana War, which doesn't sound too bad. We arrive. Do we get anything from this? Oh, hello. You guys down there. Um, Molotov River Drop Back. Hopefully that stays there. Interventionist Pollitz. Oh. Hello. I don't really want to go to war with these guys yet. We just got to keep an eye on these guys, though. Oh, St. Kyung's in the faction, too. What about technology sharing? Uh, seek access investments so that we can go ahead and get some more factory output, which would be very nice. Get some more extraction as well. Um, Germany's trade ports exist all along the Baltic, and although we were enemies once, it's undeniable that Axis trade investment would strengthen the Estonian economy immeasurably, and get more fascism, even though we don't honestly need more fascism now, so. But you know, we'll still gladly take it. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of defense here against some Soviet boys. Motorized divisions, huh? The 20 combat with so nice. Anti-air? How much anti-air do we have? We have a decent amount. Go and throw the anti-air in, because we're gonna need it. Let's be real, we're gonna really need all that. Uh, improve working conditions, so we get some more stability as well. That'd be good. And build up some more millies. Yes. Yes. Go ahead and do that, so why not? Another horse bowl. Yes. Technology sharing is very bueno. And access investments. And a fifth research slot as the Baltic Nations. Beautiful. Adopt. Oh. Oh, we go straight to war. Oh. Uh, war economics. Access tanks. Oh, that's not bad. We lose population, but we need some political power so we can get some women in the workforce. Ooh, arm the nation, too. Across, all across Estonia, there are men ready to face an oncoming threat of a Soviet invasion, but the lack of equipment to do so. We must create our arms industry for the rapid production of infantry equipment. Not bad. So, Germany, what are you up to? Like, can you invade? Oh, you're doing the multi river drop back, which is not bad. Hopefully, they'll have a non-aggression pact, so that which means they can't attack us, because they'll have a non-aggression pact with the faction leader, which will be Germany. So, I'm hoping to God that this goes okay for us. <laughs> oh, we got plenty of trucks. Oh, that's so nice. Just make sure that everyone here... Believes in trucks because supply is cru 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 crucial. Actually, says okay, that, we're looking not too bad up here now. That's very good. Civvies, millies, just go get that one done. God dang it. You might as well. You get like one more steel, maybe, maybe out of it. We're minus six for now. Actually, get some more tungsten too. Uh, I don't want to give it to the raw, just give it to the national Spanish. Yay, so we can build some more artillery up. Yay, guns looking okay. Civilian trains looking okay. We actually have a navy with no screens, but whatever. Um, oh, they did it. They did it. The Fate of Greece. Nice. So please go to war with these guys. Fate of, why are they doing Fate of Greece? They don't have Italy in their faction yet. Eventually, but not yet. Better radar is very nice as well. And ooh, better radar. Oh, yeah, we love radar. We need to get some better guns. Stuff like that. 54% is slightly better than before. So after this one, we'll have enough political power to get to 
the women in the workplace? Probably. Adopt Axis War Economics. The Germans are in the process of a rapid military industrialization of the likes of which Europe has seen a few times before, and we would do well to emulate them and seek investment from the Reichsbank. Oh, we love the Reichsbank. Fascist economics is the best economics. Just ask Albert Speer and TNO. Dang his path. Oh, best path. Best path ever. Well, I'll just hang out here, yeah. Um, actually, did I convert you guys yet? Huh. Can you guys become this? Oh, we need way more RD and support equipment. We get more manpower and infantry equipment, though. Yeah, not bad. Or by one. But we're trading away resources for nothing. Oh, Spain. Why? UK, now Guangxi. There you go. Thanks, guys. The Turks? We love the Turks here right now. Um, Yeah, I'm... Oh, see, allied access investments? Yes. Economics? We love the economics. Okay, East Wall would be good. Baltic Wall would be good. Esto Finnish Autobahn? Not bad. Baltic Industry? Ooh. Attack and defense bonus against these guys. Request access imports. Arm the nation. Defense of the nation. Original designs. Complete the armament. Not bad. Develop natural resources. We get some fuel. Oh, military factories. Uh, arm the nation would probably be better. Even though this would not be bad. Better consumer goods, but it's not by much. The East Wall? Um, honestly, let's do Axis tank licenses first. German tanks have proven themselves capable of leaving their enemies scattered and confused as they blitz to their target. Estonia would greatly benefit by emulating these tactics in the oncoming wars to the East. So when are you going to go to war? Why did you go to war with Greece? Go to war with these guys first. Like, get the Italians with you. Bulgaria. Oh, actually, wait. Bulgaria. Did you take Thrace from them? Nice. That's actually really nice. Oh, are we actually suffering from supply loss now? Oh, that sucks. Uh, dispersed industry? Not bad. Uh, uh, 39 guns. Yes. Well, these should all be motorized. Supply appears really bad as well. Uh, did we max out? Yeah, we did. So, can we come from here? All it. Uh, yeah. Honestly, getting a supply base up here might be just a better idea. There you go. See what we can do. If it goes well, great. If it doesn't, whatever. And just in case... Oh, better engineers. Oh, we need engineers, period. Holy crap. So... Greece... Oh, they, they submit. And they, they join the rank. Okay. Sometimes this just works out really well. Sometimes it doesn't. But sometimes it does. So now they're... Oh, look at that. Oh, they weren't ready. Just like the Czechs. They weren't ready. Oh, my goodness. Italians, please... Exploit them well enough. When, when in doubt, exploit your people. Please. Please. You kind of failed the exploitation. Why would you attack into tanks when there's another tile you can grab right here, guys? Then again, you got to think about North Africa, too. But with Greece submitting that easy? Holy crap. A pole march. He likes poles. Oh, yeah, I need to fight these guys, too. Oh, can you actually win there? Oh, that's not bad. Babera? Oh, yeah, you're probably going to lose there. That sucks. Supplies suck, man. All right, not bad. We're still going to go to war with these guys, but... We could go to war, but I want them to... Germans to go to war with the Danes. Why are you doing Rex Autobot now? <laughs> oh, now they're attacking. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is, this is good. Oh, yeah. That's pretty nice. But I don't want to sacrifice our guys, because our guys are too precious to sacrifice. Too precious. Our guys are too precious. I'll uh, go 20 combo with, because I, like I like them thick. If we don't have them thick, I don't want them. There you go. Do we have the supplies for this? Probably not, but... Actually, yeah, we do. Holy crap, we do. Not bad. Keep building that stuff up there, that's nice. And build some radar up here. That can help over there. Uh, the influencing of politics for a long time. Look at that. The civil government tried to align our the path of our countries and has often tried to meddle in Estonia Finland League's politics. Recently, this has intensified as the VKPB started pushing their communist propaganda with no respect for Estonia Finnish political transitions or traditions. A number of speeches and other communist materials are already being distributed to the Estonia Finnish people. It seems that even a number of politicians and other officials are being swayed by the Soviet propaganda and have begun advocating for communism in Estonia Finland League. How dare they? Can they really match our. Oh, yeah, they can. After that one, we're going to go ahead and just start going this way. And grab, you know, Karelia, and then, you know, the Finnic identity. Which would be nice. we got to wait a little bit, but that's okay. 
So we have women in the workplace, maybe? No, we're demobilizing? God dang it. We can demobilize our economy. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, 39, of course. Let's see. Artillery, artillery, artillery. Oh, El Salvador joined the Allies. God dang it. Don't tell me fighting America too, though, right? Oh, you're in the common turn. Wait. You guys are fighting the Allies. You're in the Axis and you're fighting the Allies. You're fighting these guys. You guys are fighting those guys. I don't want to go to war with... You're not fighting anybody, right? Oh, you're fighting the Allies now. Okay, that's good. That's actually really good. We're in a three-way war then. You're all fighting all the Allies. Great. Oh, don't get pushed in, guys. Please don't get pushed in. Even though, technically, you didn't start with that tile, but still. Still. Oh, please don't do the next What is? What are you guys up to? What are you guys up to as well? I don't trust anyone around us. We need to be a war to keep that going. Hello. Why are you in the water? Um, supply hub? Ah, oh, it takes so long to make. Keep making some more of this, too. We'll keep working on that stuff first. There you go. That's better. If that's the case, we want to get this guy. The last communist influence every single day. Nice. Because if we can get him, we will get him. Oh, you're going to help us defend against these guys. Not bad. We're just going to make sure that we don't have a two-front war. You know, Bessarabia is literally its own country. That's kind of weird. That's really weird. If the Turkish Empire here, will they join us? They're guaranteed by the Germans and the UK. Okay. Uh, well then, because China was trying to join the Allies, that means the Comintern already fighting them. But then now the Japanese are going to be... Wait. Yeah, they're fighting. Everyone's fighting the Allies. Everyone, it's just it's a three-way world war. Not a bad idea. Not a bad thing, honestly, for us. Really, not that bad. Yeah, we're gonna wait for that one too. Not bad. Oh, we need more steel. We always need more steel. Another dude, I guess, please. Keep training, guys. If you need to, keep training. It's totally cool to train. Go and keep training too. We might as well. All right, we might as well. Supply-wise, oh, it's looking so bad up here. Holy crap, guys, guys, guys. Oh, we're still building that supply base. Oh, it takes so long to make supplies. And to take licenses. Oh, they're looking pretty good around here. It's right there, but whatever. Um, second Viet... Can you please go through the Benelux? Can you please go to war with Poland? Come on, Germany. D just, just take Danziger War. Do not take war with the USSR. For the love of God, do not take that one yet. We need Danziger War. So we can go to war with Denmark. So we can have a two-front war against the Swedes and the Norwegians. And then we can go to war with them. I'm okay with that route. Please. Please. Letting the AI take control of all this stuff is kind of not a good idea. But if they can get the Suez Canal, that'd be pretty darn awesome. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, yes. What are the casualties like? How many? How much manpower do they have immediately? Not a lot. Oh, actually, do we demobilize still? We can still demobilize eventually, so. Just keep using whatever we have right here to keep building up for now, though. Super important to keep building up. Uh, not bad. Germany is where is that? 800,000 manpower. It's going to be in a war. What are you guys up to? Subs, efforts. Licenses, tank designs. Let's go with United Corellia. And what was I thinking of? We need more fuel. Yeah, I'll see what these guys are going ahead to. Not bad. Get some better anti air. Get some better tank stuff, or artillery stuff, I should say, because we're not using tanks in this campaign. Uh, wait, oh, wait. License that to us. Balanced mid sized chests. It offers a lot of flexibility for building a wide and variety of tanks. Oh! Oh, crap. They break the multi ribbon draw pack. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. That's actually a really nice tank. That's actually very nice. Uh, and America joined. Um, as much as I want to make tanks, we don't really have the industry for it. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Sweden shouldn't attack us, right? The Norwegians might attack us? I don't know. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There you go. Oopsie. There you go. Um, I'm going to keep you guys separate for now. Different field marshal. More command power. Promote him anyways. There you go. You're going to get some defensive stuff. Because you guys are going to come over here. And we are going to have to defend like crazy over here. Oh, for the love of God. Please don't attack us. Oh, screw you guys come over here too. Um, is there any way we can hold out here in Finland? I don't think there really is a way for us to hold out here in Finland. You can try that maybe, but... That's probably not going to go that well for us. Just in case, go and get a port here. There we go. Try that. 
Oh, that's not looking good, man. Oh, they're already attacking. Why did you go to war with Poland first? Oh my goodness, so bad, so bad. I think could we could we justify on them? Oh wait, they have four states. Oh yeah, let's even go to war with these guys first. As long as these guys don't go to war with us, that'd be good. So we'll see. We will most definitely see. Actually, we just take this one. We get political. We don't get political power anyways, but it's not, it's still not too bad. Just build at least one port there for now. Okay, bro. There are no invincible armies. That's nice. I should... We don't have this on. There you go. Whoopsie. Wrong button. And then we'll do Unite the Finnic Identity. With all major Finns in the Scandinavian subcontinent under our control, we're able to unite the Finnic Identity and declare a new state that Estonians, Finns, Sami, Samoyeds, and all of the finno ugric people may call home. Alright then. Mm, armor trains? There you go. We're speaking against Finland? Yeah. Or Poland? Yeah, let's do the Poles because the Germans aren't doing too much here. They're not too distracted. These guys are stable anyways. Take these guys out. Kill them off. Take Vilna, which is actually one of our cores, which is really nice to see. And then, uh, yeah, we'll take that. Open up a massive front against the Soviets because this will open this up a lot more for these guys, which would be kind of nice for them. And we'll see what happens. Oh, 23 days. Uh, I don't really want to go down. We can always come back to it, though, but... I like how much production we're getting here, though. Super nice. And Lappy? Let's at least build that one up first. Ah, finish it up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Nice. Keep making more civvies, too. 16 days. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see what happens. Because with us here, the fall of Cairo, nice job, Italy, which is weird to say. You get the Suez, it'll be great. Second Vienna Award. Um, what is Germany up to now? Engineers would be very nice. They're building more roads. Bro, bro, this is not the time to be building roads. You're at war with the Soviet Union, guys. War austerity? Sounds good to me. Just gonna click on that one. Don't worry about it. We can go back to that later on. That's still not too bad. Treaty of Kiova? Yeah, at least we got one thing there. That's nice. Uh, how did they divide it up? That is so disgusting. Jesus Christ, hungry. You got little balls down here still. What the heck? Why do you want this much of these guys, too? Supplies are not bad for the AI, too, though. Um, these these guys are not that... Actually, not too bad. Yeah, we made them okay. And we'll go to war with these guys, too. Ooh. They... Ooh. Are the Germans really ready for the war like this? Probably, honestly, not. But I don't know which way these guys are going to go. So... Could we actually do well here? Maybe, maybe not... They're going to suffer here, though. Fall of Nanjing. Yeah, I don't know. They'll have to call a lot of these guys back. That's going to make or break Germany. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Chief of the Air Force, bad weather, air superiority. That's pretty nice. Oh, do we have the thing done? No. So, we, I don't know if we can actually go to war with those guys yet. We'll see. I don't want to go to war with these guys yet. So, uh, maybe we can't actually come down here, maybe. At least protect the Germans somewhat. Because they're not going to be able to protect themselves. Let's do that. Go home. Stay there. Because they're going to have all this border they got to hold off as well. Yeah, Germany is definitely stretched out really thin. There's Honduras. Not bad. And you unite know, you know, these guys, which would not be bad too, either. It's looking so bad. They'll probably attack us like crazy. Probably. Hopefully. Come on. Deploy, 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 deploy. Or, what we do, we go to war with them by ourselves first. They stack up on our border, and then we go in. That's still not a bad idea, either. Of course, they'll probably still join the Allies. They're still attacking. Italians are doing great. If they can get National Spain in there, too... That'd be pretty strong. Why is everyone working in roads? Italy! How are you guys winning here? The fall of Kiev, you not Karelia? Oh, we can't do this one yet. Oh, that sucks. Which means we're going to wait for that one. Which means we're going to go ahead and do... Arm of the Nation. Uh, Axis. East Wall. The Germans anticipate an attack from the east as much as we do. And German officials will be well advised to fortify our border with as much vigor as their own. So, how many more days do we have here? I mean, they're already fighting the Allies anyways. So. Angered. Nice. It is almost 1940. Better planes? No. 
Sure, we can do that one as well. Supply base is almost done. Calvinists have almost another city. So we're going to be the ones fighting these guys by ourselves. Alright, so let's see what happens. As If it goes well, great. If it doesn't, then, you know, we kind of suck, but whatever. We'll go do it by ourselves. Let the Poles attack us like crazy. Let them join the... They'll probably join the Allies. That's probably a really bad idea. Yeah, there you go. They are attacking us. Are they moving in? And now they're moving in. So, sorry, Germany, about that. Sorry about that. They're moving in like crazy. Um, can you guys actually go in yourselves? Yeah, I actually might be able to, especially since it's core territory. So, not bad. Yes. Well, since we're here anyways. Uh, no. Actually, there's a war with the Soviets, so we don't want that to happen at all. So, sorry, boys. you got to wait for your war against the, the, the Soviets and stuff like that. You should have just went to war with the Benelux, but the AI is kind of dumb. But, you know, what else is new? I'm just here to help hold Germany for now. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, we got Vilno back, though. Nice. Our first... Well, let me be not our first, but a good taste of combat already. And we got the supply point. Awesome. Oh! Oh, they joined the Allies, so now these guys are fighting them, too. Not bad. The Poles... Oh, and the Soviets are trying to attack some German boys. Oh, that's so nice. What, what's the casualties like? 23,000. We're doing quite well against them. Oh, the U.S. joined the Allies, too. France has lost a lot of guys. Um, not bad. Pretty good. 1947. Go and grab that one as well, my friends. Oh, more war support. Oh, don't mind if we do. Ooh, we're, we're struggling down here, aren't we? Gradno. Gradno kind of sucks. Oh, here we go. We can kind of pause out of that one, too. Thank you. Keep going, keep going. Actually, if anything, you just extend the entire line. Sorry about Königsberg. Sorry. Happens. You guys concentrate your forces like up here or something. Oh, crap. We're getting naval invaded. Oh, okay. We don't care about oh, that's not good. Western Balkans. That sucks. No, we're not going to join that war immediately. But you guys are doing A-OK. -okay. Up oh, next. Uh, ooh, encirclement. Yes. Oh, very good. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about that. If you guys want to kill each other off, that's fine with me. But that's okay. But I think right now what we're going to go and do, and we'll do the Baltic Wall, just to make sure that we're okay with the Soviets' attack, but we'll probably end up with after we read Baltic Wall. Fortifications of the East are worthless if our enemies choose in to instead to perform an attack from the East Sea. We may never build a navy to rival the British, Germans, or Soviets, but we can do what we can to render them helpless against our coastal defenses. But if you enjoyed the first episode of this two-pod campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow, as hopefully we'll crush the allies and hopefully the commenter. And thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.